It's so dark in here. Where am I? I feel so weak, can't even see. It's so tight in here, I'm claustrophobic. I can barely breathe. But the small bit of strength I have, I strain my voice and ask, God, can you hear me? I'm so cold, my knees are to my ribcage to keep me warm. There's no light, there's darkness in every corner and every side. I'm terrified. Get me out of here, please. God, can you hear me? Uh -huh. Silence. No reply. How can God ignore me at my most trying times? Tears build up. I begin to cry. Running down my cheeks, raging in water streams. Then I think, maybe this darkness is muffling my cries. Let me wipe my tears while I'm at it. Stretch my limbs far and wide. Everything is loosening up. I've been curled up for a long time. I gotta find a way for God to hear my plea. I need to know God can hear me. So I stretch and bend far right like a web. Plant my roots into this dirt bed. Breaking my way where I believe that's the surface. I see a light and I reach for it. And the darkness opens. Finally breathe, yet this darkness still has a firm hold of me. It's still hard to move, I can't break free, I'm terrified. I know you can hear my plea. Get me out of here, please. God, can you hear me? Silence, no reply. How can God ignore me in my most trying times? Then roll the thunder, drown my cries as the clouds above swell ten times their size. Then down it poured, and I was caught in a vicious storm. As I watched the lightning spread my fingers along with blinding flashes as it flickered, with rain falling all over the place and rain splashing up in my face. I know when it rains and pours, but can I catch a break? Then I think, how can God hear my cries with this rolled up thunder at the only silence? Rain, rain, go away. I need for God to hear what I'm saying. Let me try to stand on my feet, because all this water is smothering me. Rain, rain, go away. I want the sun to hit my face. And just like that, the clouds parted, and the sun started shining. I could see everything so clearly. I could even see my dreams. They're right there out in front of me. I got my arms stretched out wide, but they're so far out of reach. I know you can hear my plea. Bring me closer to my dreams. I beg you, I'm desperate. Please, God, can you hear me? Silence, no reply. How can God ignore me after numerous times? Frustrated, I punch the surface. With all the strength in my being, this time I'm not really thinking. I'm going to extremes. And with my fists cultivating the land, the water from the rain, cushioning my head, numbing the pain, I'm beating the dirt and I'm my life away. Turning it into sludge and muck as the water trickled down to the sea, the roots I planted before. Then suddenly, something happened. The ground began to shake, rumbling beneath my feet. It was an earthquake, causing the surface to open up like a mouth and a beanstalk emerged, tall and stout, going past mountains, pouring clouds. It was massive, heading up to the heavens. Even I grew ten times my size, just enough so my hands could grip the vines. Now I'm thinking, no answers to any of my pleas. I need to know why God couldn't hear it. Fee, five, four, four. Here I go like the giant I've become. My beanstalk is tall and stout, perfect for climbing. And I got a fire in here in the city. It feels like it can burn for eternity. So I got all the energy I need for this epic climate. Because I need God to hear me. So here I go. I'm on the way up. And while I'm at it, I grab my dreams that were so far out of reach one by one. I'm overcoming everything. My fears have become obsolete. I just have this burning desire to reach the top because I need to know why God couldn't hear me. So here I go. I've reached the peak looking beyond the hills and valleys as far as the eyes can see. With air filling my lungs, I'm blowing past mountaintops with strength in my tongue. I scream, God, can you hear me? I hear the echo of my voice travel through the skies like a sonic boom, fading away like drums on my last beating palm. God, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I always do. Even when I replied, it was you that 
could not hear me, so I did things hoping you would know I was listening. While in darkness, I filled your eyes with tears to give you strength so you could break out of your fears. While still weak and in need, I brought the thunderstorm onto you, cause I heard your plea. And even though I could hear you, but you couldn't hear me, I did to set you free. I needed you to bloom, I knew you would be frustrated, you couldn't hear me. So the water from the rain left the ground in perfect condition for you. And in your frustration, it was dead you grew, because I heard your pleas. And even though I could hear you, but you couldn't hear me, I did so you could develop a keen ear for listening, so you could hear me even when you whispering. I needed you to elevate and calm that being stopped to me because I could hear you, but you couldn't hear me. And I needed you to know I would never ignore your pleas. So when you ask God, can you hear me? The answer is yes. I always have.